So although Vibhishan was living there in the worst possible environment, he was completely pious, unselfish, humble, generous, and was always, he and his wife were constantly worshiping Ram in their house. But he was so loving and kind to his brother, Ravana. Even, as we saw in this drama, Hanuman, when he was captured by Ravana, Vibhishan said, you cannot kill him because he's a messenger. It's against our codes. So Ravana indirectly wanted to kill him. Light his tail on fire. He will suffer and ultimately die, but not directly. They had him tied up and they wrapped his tail up with huge quantities of flammable cloth and then soaked it in flammable oil and lit it. It's massive fire. It wasn't like a little match or a candle. It was a massive fire, blazing. And Hanuman saw this as an opportunity to serve. <laughs> this, is a, this is a great soul. He doesn't, we don't see, why is this happening to me? Even apparent crises that are inconceivable, you can think that way, why is this happening to me? And it's justified. But a higher consciousness, how can I serve? How could I serve in this situation? So Hanuman expanded himself, contracted himself, slipped out of the ropes, jumped to the roof, and then took his tail and <laughs> touched it to the roof. <laughs> the palace went on fire. And then you, dovetailing his monkey propensities, he jumped to the next roof. <laughs> and he was just touching, touching, touching. <laughs> <clears throat> this is a lesson on karma, too. That when you do harm to another, it's going to come back to you. The same fire that Ravana lit to cause Hanuman's suffering caused him the greatest suffering of his life. Yes? Wasn't a different fire. Same fire. Just like sometimes you go to places and they keep the same flame lit for so many years. Like in some countries, there's the tomb to the unknown soldiers of everybody who died in a certain war. And there's a certain flame that has been lit there since the war in honor of those people. Even if you go to Gambira, there's a little ghee lamp in the little corner of Lord Chaitanya's home that is said has been, that same fire has been going since the time of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I think at Gandhi's tomb there's a flame there too, something like that. I don't remember, but I've been to so many. But anyways, Ravana, it was his flame. He started the flame. And Hanuman, all right, you set them, you want your, I'll share your flame. <laughs> you gave it to me, I'll share it. <laughs> and the city was burning. Afterward, when Ram had his camp along with the monkey soldiers, had the Vanaras, and they were crossing the ocean before that, even before they crossed the ocean, when they were assembled on the shore near Rameshwaram, spies came to see, and they came and told Ravan. And Vibhishan told him, just give Sita back. That's all, just give Sita back. She does not belong to you. She belongs to Ram. 
do you know how much courage that took to speak the truth to him? He said, if you do not give him back, her back, you will be destroyed, your whole dynasty, your family, everything will be destroyed. Just give back Sita. Ravana became so angry, he literally rejected Vibhisha. If you were not my brother, I would kill you. I reject you. And then as we saw in the drama, Vibhishan with two of his ministers went across the ocean. They didn't even need a bridge. And he came to take shelter of Ram. First he was misunderstood, but Hanuman, Hanuman understood his heart. And with total faith in Hanuman's word, Ram accepted Vibhishan as his own servant. Now, even though Ravana was so cruel, he abused Vibhishan beyond human conception. His words pierced his heart. He scolded him, chastised him, blasphemed him, rejected him, exiled him. After the war, Ram had already coronated Vibhishan as the king. Ram told Vibhishan, you should perform the last rites for Ravana. Vibhishan said, how could I perform the last rites for him? If I perform the last rites in your behalf, you know, I'll give him liberation. Why should I do that for him? He was so cruel, he stole your wife. Because of him, so many have died. So many have suffered. What to speak of the abuse and the rejection. But Ram told Vipishan that we should never carry vengeance toward anyone. We hate the disease, but not the person who's diseased. Ravana's disease was his arrogance and his lust and his envy and his anger, his greed. But now there's no more disease, he's dead. <laughs> now you could help liberate his soul, you should give that. And Vibhishan, with all his heart, believed in that. And with great love and devotion, Vibhishan forgave Ravana and performed the last rites. That was his greatness. <clears throat> 